a refreshingly short and simple video. I recently received a package from China and they had thrown in a little extra gift in the form of this USB light and I thought, eh, I'll take a look at that later on. And it turns out it's just a little half watt white light. This one's cold, but they also do them in warm. They also do them in pink, purple, uh, green, red, and other colours, I think, and blue. Um, but this thing is rated about half a watt. It's very, very simple. It's a nice diffused light. And in a room, this acts as a perfect night light. It's the sort of thing that if you were camping, this little light, which is extremely cheap, I shall provide a search link to it on eBay so there's no price gouging. But uh, it would be really handy for camping or use as a nightlight or in the event of Armageddon happening, you know what politics are like these days, uh, it would be a very useful little light for use with a USB power bank charged from solar panels. Inside, and I've already taken a picture of the inside, is equally simple. Let me just focus down onto this and zoom in. We have, where's my pen here? We have two fairly decent sized LEDs and we got two 30 ohm resistors. 300, 0, 3, 0, and a multiplier of 0, which means it's just 30 ohms. The circuit board is held in place by the USB connector as far as I can see. It looks as though they've literally pushed the USB connector through, placed the circuit board on, soldered the pins, and that's what locks in place. Very simple construction. There's a resistor per LED with a negative on this side going to the end of one LED and also to a resistor that then goes to the other LED. And the opposite is mirrored. It's got the positive going to that LED and this resistor. So they basically just got that 30 ohm resistor in series with each LED. The current draw is 120 milliamps, which is roughly 60 milliamps per LED, which does equate fairly accurately to three volts across the LEDs and about two volts dropped across the resistors. And that is about it. It's a super simple design. It's ultra functional. There is the possibility if you wanted to half the power consumption to either change the resistors or just cut one of them out and just kill one of the LEDs effectively, although it might go a bit lopsided. But this is a nice simple design. It's unexpected. I was expecting it just to be an ordinary LED light. And to be honest, it is an ordinary LED light, a USB powered LED light. But it's actually super compact and functional. It's a win. It's a very nice little light.